Ah, uh, Amazon. The place where you can buy everything from flatulence filtering underwear to Nicolas Cage sequin pillows to diamond rings, and some of the most expensive watches known to man, all while contributing to the wealth of the richest person on Earth. Really, you can find anything you want on Amazon, and that's because since 2000, Amazon has been selling items that are listed by third-party sellers, which includes individuals, small family-owned companies, and big retailers like Target or Walmart. All businesses have to do is ship their items to an Amazon warehouse, where those items are then stored, packaged, and delivered by Amazon workers to customers' doors in record time. And while I've bought my fair share of $500,000 and even $5,000 items off Amazon, I generally prefer to buy my more expensive items from elsewhere. That being said, Amazon is full of hugely expensive items that I'd be a bit shocked to see arrive in any Amazon Prime box. That's why today Today, we're going to take a look at some of the most expensive items money can buy on Amazon. We'll see why they cost so much, who's selling them, and even what some customers think of the items. And that being said, for the sake of transparency, you should know I've only included items that are actually fulfilled by Amazon, not items that are listed on Amazon but need to be bought on a third-party website. The most expensive tiny home. When most people are looking for a home, they'll contact realtors or maybe browse some home-buying sites. But why do that when you can pop on Amazon and buy the tiny house of your dreams for $64,650? Well, the frame of your tiny house of your dreams, that is. The Allwood Eagle Vista 1376 square foot cabin kit is the most expensive tiny home that you can buy on Amazon. And I must admit, if I wasn't the mansion man that I already am, this home might actually be a reasonable option. It features two floors, a lower floor containing a 160 seven square foot office, 91 square foot kitchen, 231 square foot living and dining room, as well as a bathroom area that's around 100 square feet, and a sitting area as well that's about 160 square feet. Upstairs you'll find two bedrooms, a 240 square foot master bedroom, which is a bit too small to be called a master if you ask me, and a 155 square foot bedroom as well. There's also two offices and a half bath. That being said, the furniture appliances, and fixings are all up to you to buy. The kit comes with Nordic spruce wall planks, the roof, and the floorboards, as well as the doors, windows, screws, and nails. However, it does not come with insulation, electrical, plumbing, or the foundation. So there's still a ways to go before this home is truly a house. But don't fret, it does come with free shipping. However, I wouldn't expect it to roll up in a standard blue tape box if I were you. So how do people like the tiny home? Well, the total legitimate and not at all humorous reviews are in, and they are all fairly positive. The most expensive chandelier. When you want your home to look expensive and luxurious, in my experience, there is nothing better than buying a chandelier. When it comes to fancy lighting, Maida Tiffany is the company to buy from, and surprisingly, you can buy Maida Tiffany on Amazon. But more importantly, you can buy Maida Tiffany's most expensive chandelier, which is also the most expensive chandelier on Amazon for a whopping $92,650. If you plan on ordering this beast of a chandelier, make sure you have someone around that's able to do some heavy lifting because it weighs 320 pounds. A chandelier has space for 24 light bulbs to make your home sparkle and shine. But the light bulbs don't come with a nearly $100,000 chandelier, so don't forget to pick some up before you place your order. The light comes from Maida Tiffany's Marquee Collection. It features 15 layers of tiered, polished glass rods, which give the illusion that the chandelier is made up of dozens of sparkling crystals. And as for the size of the chandelier, well, that's up to you. The height can be adjusted to anywhere between 89 and 156 inches, depending on your preference. Again, the totally legitimate and not at all humorous reviews are in. However, they're a bit mixed for this pricey chandelier. Some say it's not worth it, while others have a bit to say about the, um, fragrance of the piece. The most expensive watch. If you haven't been able to tell from my other videos, I'm a fairly big fan of wrist wear. But in all my years of collecting watches, I can confidently say I've never ordered one off of Amazon. Even though the most expensive watch they sell is an Audemars Paget Jules Audemars Repetition Minutes Tourbillon. And though this watch is actually pre-owned, it'll still cost you a startling $192,500. That being said, you're getting quite a piece of jewelry.
jewelry for that price. It's a manual wind watch with a 40mm case, which is fairly standard watch size. However, the case is made of 18 karat white gold. The watch itself clasps around your wrist with a deployant buckle made of white gold on a leather band. The watch features a silver diamond dial and a diamond bezel. The silver and gold movement is visible throughout the watch and can be seen working its magic from the front or the back. So, if you want to join the likes of Tom Cruise, the Crown Prince of Saudi Arabia, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Harry Styles, who all sport Audemars Piguet watches, you can drop nearly 200 grand and scoop up this bad boy. The most expensive sports memorabilia. As a boy, I loved collecting baseball cards. There was nothing more exciting than running to the courtyard at my private school and swapping cards with the other kids, trying to get the ones that were missing from my personal collection. And there is one card I was never able to get. One card that is so elusive to collectors that it is often ranked as one of the most valuable cards in the world. Shockingly, even the most elusive things can be found on Amazon. The T206 Christy Mathewson baseball card is currently for sale on Amazon for the low, low, low price of $409,422. That's right, for the price of a really nice house, you can scoop up this card printed between 1909 and 1911. There were more than 2,000 different combinations of cards in the T206 white border baseball set. There were iterations of several different players over the years, and some players had cards with different poses. The back of the card featured a tobacco advertisement, with 16 different brands featured on the cards over the three-year period. Christy Mathewson had three poses, including this one. In my opinion, this card is the best looking out of the three. There's just something about the look on his face and the color on the background that makes it especially appealing. This card has a PSA 8.5 rating, and the listing states that it is the highest rated T206 Christy Mathewson card in existence existence. And indeed, the card certainly doesn't look its age. It's hard to believe it's more than 100 years old. The back of the card features an advertisement for Piedmont in blue ink, which has also withstood the test of time in a rather remarkable way. Christy Mathewson was Major League Baseball's first real celebrated pitcher. He pitched an incredible 17 seasons with the New York Giants, so getting the card may be tempting, but make sure you've got at least a half a million in your bank account before you buy it, or you might end up like C. Speedy. Then again, at least you have the free shipping included. So, there you have it. A look at some of the most expensive items available on Amazon. Are there any of these you couldn't live without? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and maybe turn on post notifications for the one time. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Now, if you don't mind me, I need to go set my Amazon Prime orders for next week. I'll see you guys next time. Pip-pip-da-doodly-doo.